Welcome to Play by Play Sports News. I'm Jack, along with my co-hosts Finn, CJ, and Vincent. We are live from Philadelphia, and even with the Eagles crashing out of the playoffs last week, there's still a lot going on uh, in in sports this weekend, including a plenty of NFL playoff action. The playoffs continue with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers traveling to Detroit, where they will be will be underdogs for this. For the second straight week, two former first overall draft picks look to continue their career, um, their career rebirths as Baker Mayfield leads the Tampa leads Tampa against Jared Goff and the Lions. In the other NFC matchup, um, the Green Bay Packers, the Niners have been the best team in the um, uh, all year long. Well, well, Green Bay um looked to shock the league with a second straight huge upset. Now in the AFC, the surefire offensive rookie of the year, C.J. Stroud, will take on the odds to favor the win, to win the MVP, Lamar Jackson. Houston is a surprise to many to be here, with a first-year head coach in Demico Ryan's and the rookie QB Stroud under center. We'll see if the experience of the veteran signal caller Jackson and his Super Bowl-winning head coach John Harbaugh can give the Ravens the advantage at home. The winner of that game will take on the winner of one of the best quarterback rivalries in the NFL is Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs travel to Buffalo to take on Josh Allen and the Bills. Both the Chiefs and the Bills have had a rough moments in this season, but you wouldn't have known it in their early first playoff games as each team won fairly easily. Here in Philly, there is a lot going on in college basketball this weekend. On Hook, on Hook Hill, St. Joe's looks to stay hot at home. So far this season they are eight and two at Hargan Arena. They should have a good chance to make that nine and two as they face a D- wait huh how do you pronounce that? Duquesne. Duquesne with team who has is Wilness so far in conference play and have lost four in a row overall. The Hawks are led by junior guard Eric Reynolds, who is average over 17 points per game and shooting 40% from behind the three-point line. A team with a tougher test this weekend are the Villanova Wildcats as as they face the defending national champion and current number one ranked UConn. Nova, uh... Nova has started the season 11 and 6 overall and 4 and 2 in the conference. The Wildcats do get to take on the Huskies at Wells Fargo Center tonight at 8 p.m., which could be a help for the Cats as UConn are only 2 and 2 on the road this season. The Huskies play a team game with four players averaging over 13 points a game, while Villanova are led by veteran redshirt senior Eric Dixon and his 15 points per game. A win for the Cats could go a long way for the resume, r- resume come March. Um, once the hard once the hard court is cleared off tomorrow night in the Wells Fargo Center, the ice will be laid for Sunday's game between the Philadelphia Flyers and the Ottawa Seven Eaters. Um, the two teams are complete opposites this season. The Flyers were seen coming into the into the year as one of the worst teams in the NHL. Um. The Sens were seen as, as an up-and-coming, exciting squad that can make a deep playoff run. The opposite is what actually has occurred. Um, the Flyers have the fourth best record in the Eastern Conference, and the Senators sit dead last with only 16 wins. And um, uh, wait, which one's next? Wins and losses. Their first 40 games, the Flyers are led by stellar goaltending and continued growth of many young players, including Travis Konechi and Owen Tippett. The orange and black will look to stay high and push their way to what would be a very ex- unexpected playoff run. That's all for Play by Play Sports News. For my co-hosts, Jack, Finn, and uh, Vincent, I'm CJ, and this has been Student Sports Network News, signing off.